Hey guys, today I want to show you how we built the bed inside my Astro camper van. It's a lengthwise bed from the driver's seat to the back door. It's about uh, six feet long and it's 24 inches wide as a couch and 36, 36 inches wide as a bed when it pulls out when it extends. So let's uh, let me show you how it was built. But first, let's break those chains. First, let me show you what the finished product looks like so you have an idea of where we're going with this. This is my bed looking from the back. And this is the bed uh, slash couch looking from the, uh, the sliding door. So my dad's been a big part of this project. And he actually took it upon himself to build this bed for me while I was out of town. And then surprised me with it when I showed up at his house to do some work on the van. So my dad took a few pictures while he did the build of the bed. So let me go through these pictures real quick. This first one is the first piece of the bed, which would be a stationary piece. This picture here shows some of his trusty tools and how he fit the boards together with screws. So here's a look at the stationary part of the bed, which will eventually be built up on top of a frame inside the van. The way this bed build works is you have your stationary section, the couch section, and then you have your pullout section, which is the bed section. And then you have boards like this one that are either connected to the stationary or to the pullout section. Here he's adding on the bed extension part and he's measuring out to make sure it's 36 inches wide so he knows where it's going to stop. Here's a side view of how the bed extension looks. And now for a close-up overhead view of how the sliding bed works. So by the time I arrived, my dad had already built the main part of the bed. So all we had to do was put it in the van and build the frame for it to sit on, which uh, eventually became the storage. Here's a little cleaner look at what it looks like in couch mode. That's just a spare board sitting inside there, by the way. Here's a look at the supports for the couch portion of the bed. As you can see here, every other board is offset. So half the boards are connected to the stationary frame and half of the boards will pull out when you pull the bed out. They're movable. We added hinges to the wall and to the main bed portion to allow it to lift up. This allows us access to the storage underneath. You can also see how we built our frame here. The support beams were screwed through our vinyl flooring and into the base plywood flooring below. Here's a look at one of the other brackets we use to screw down the support legs to the flooring. Building the bed and the framework is one thing, but you also have to figure out what you're going to lay on. Our first choice was to have a custom futon mattress made. The problem is, it was too thick, it was too heavy, and it was not very easily manageable. But, the good thing about it was it was extremely comfortable. Now that the bed is complete, let me give you guys some close-up views of exactly how this bed was constructed so you can get a better idea of how to do it if you want to do something similar. Okay, you'll notice here that the stationary boards have two screws on both sides of the board and they stay right where they are. The non-stationary boards, you'll see this other board running across the middle here. The non-stationary boards have two screws into them and then have one screw on the opposite side which I'll show you here in a second as it pans around. So you see the two screws there, that's a stationary board. One screw, that is the movable board, that's the uh, where the bed extends out. All the way down the line here, two screws, one screw, screw, two screw, one screw. Now here's the side look of the couch has now been expanded out to a bed. And as you'll notice here, there's stationary boards. Every other board is a stationary board. And they're all staying right where they are. And then there's every other board is an expanding board, which pulls out. And that board from the previous section of this video has now moved and has been pulled out to even with this other board, which is a uh, piece of the frame. 
Now let me just kind of pan around the bed here so you can get, kind of get a look. There's the hinges, by the way. Just We just passed the hinge up. Uh, to kind of get a look of how it looks, those boards come together nice and flush. And here you see there's only one screw on the outside here per board all the way down. And you can see the, uh, the support posts pull out with the frame. Oh, and there goes my mattress falling over. Now for some looks at how we built these support legs and how we have them secured to the floor. Just little brackets right there. That's a, a more a stronger bracket, I would say. And we have those all the way down the way there. Now let's take a closer look at the bed in couch mode while it is lifted up so you can access storage underneath. As you can see, there's a hinge right there. We used two hinges, one down there a little further. This allows the bed to lift up easily. Now the bed is a little bit heavy with just the wood alone. Imagine when you put a heavy uh, bed on there like that futon was extremely heavy. A little look at the underneath storage. So let's take a look at the underneath storage from a different angle here. Just a quick view of what it looks like from over here. Here's a little look at me getting some reading done with my back propped up to the driver's side seat. Here's a look at my dad relaxing on the couch. Uh, as you can see, he's kind of slouched over. That's because anyone that's six foot or above will have issues sitting straight up in the astral van. Now let me give you a look at the bed in couch mode with the cushions on. For the cushions, we used a firm three inch foam with a one inch topper, had them glued together, and then we had them wrap the vinyl around it. The main cushion is 24 inches wide by 72 inches long. And then the back cushions are 12 inches wide by 36 inches long each. When in bed mode, you pull out the bed, the main cushion slides over, the two back cushions drop down, and that gives you a 72 by 36 inch wide bed, which is just about the size of a twin bed. Here's a side look at the bed frame and the support beams. This is while it's in couch mode. And then over here we show how we connected it to the wall. Now that's a sturdy board there we've got it connected to up against the wall. I just recently returned from a trip to Big Bend National Park in West Texas and this is what my storage looked like on that trip. I basically had three tool containers and four large storage containers. These storage containers were 10 inches high and fit perfectly under the bed and they allowed me to keep things fairly organized. And lastly, here's one more look with the bed propped up so you can see how the storage looks that way. Well, thank you very much for watching my videos. I hope this video is very helpful. If you'd like to see more of this build series, click that big box in the middle. If you'd like to subscribe, click the subscribe button. And you can go check out my website at TravelinTroy.com or check out my Facebook page or my Instagram. Thanks a lot.